God's word is God's system of creating things. He creates things. Look at creation story. God said, let there be and there was. Look at the recreation story. When God wanted to make the new creation. Guess how he gave birth to the new creation? Words. First Peter chapter 1 verses 23 to 25. Let me show you. So creation and recreation were done by words. Being born again. Not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. By what? You are born of the word of God. You are born of the word of God. And the characteristic is that he lives and abides forever. We are going to come to that. Look at the next verse. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withered. And the flower thereof falleth away. Look at the next one. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. That is God's system of creating or making things. You see the framing of the world. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 tells us that by faith... We understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Word of God framed the walls. So that the things which we see were not made from the things which are visible or which do appear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If that is God's system of translating invisible things into visible things. And we are born of that system. Which means anything that is not visible right now and we need in its visible form. We have capacity to translate it. How? Words. That's how God translated his own. He translated invisible things and they became visible through words. He said it was by his word that he framed it. And not just that he frames things by his word He also sustains them by his word He upholds them Hebrews 1 from verse 1 Look at that God who at sundry times And in diverse manners Spake in time past Unto the fathers by the prophets Had in these last days Spoken unto us By his son, whom he had appointed heir of all things. By whom also he made the worlds. Plural. Okay. Who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person. And upholding how many things? Now, if I create something that I need in a tangible form by words. I will of necessity sustain it by words. When I speak the first time, I have planted. When I speak correspondingly the second time, I watered. I, Paul, planted. Apollos watered. How did Paul plant? Words. How did Apollos water? Words. So, anything... I said the first time I've planted a seed. If I sustain the speaking, I will sustain it. Therefore, if I say, Obodobiwe, Ndi Nonya Ayon, if I name the reason, Nke Dizye Kwe Romume, I say it the first time I've planted it. I say it a second time. I sustain it. So I create and sustain like God because I was born of the same system he uses to create and sustain the word of God. Now you see As everybody is seated here, 
you are the sum total of all your creations. Everything you have said in your mouth. So if I want to change something that's happening in my life, I change something that's coming out of my mouth. 